Hey, we're Keith and Dev. And if you're new here, we're long-term travelers capturing our adventures here on YouTube. <sighs> we are currently in Asia, and this year, we downsized our packing! This year, we actually downsized from 45 liters to 35 liters. One, because we did have a lot of stuff. It mm -hmm. was quite heavy. Yes. Two, because here the airlines are a bit more restrictive, mm -hmm. less weight. And three, because we need less stuff. Last year we were in Europe. Where it got cold. We needed sweaters. So this time, so they're it's 30 really degrees hot. all the time. So it's super clothes. humid. In this video, we are going to be sharing with you our top must have items, things you might not think about bringing, but definitely should. We're gonna go through our whole bag from our clothes to our gear, to our toiletries, pharmacy, the bags that we actually brought. We're gonna show you how we pack our bags and maybe an item or two that maybe we probably shouldn't have brought and we did. So let's get started. Subscribe to follow along. So, right off the bat, most important items that we brought are must-haves. And this is things not that are necessities for travel, so... Beyond first aid kits. Or pharmacies. Phones. Sunglasses. Wallets. Or passports. These are items that you might not think of, but we find so crucial for travel. Actually, we're gonna forget to mention this in a couple minutes in our miscellaneous item because they were being used in the fridge, our Tupperwares. Top item for sure. Still, same as last year. These are so crucial. They fold up, they can't right now because they have food in them, but super small and great for so many different parts of travel. Also come with a little spoon slash fork, but of course it's reusing it, so. We also have the link below if you're curious and want these exact containers. It's just an Amazon link, but if you use it, it helps us out. All right, next is our backpacks, our little tiny portable trekking backpacks. We use them every day. And they just slide in the side of our big peak design backpacks when we're doing our full day travel. But if we're out in a city or doing a hike or going to the beach. They're just 10 liters, but that's all you need. We put our water bottles in there and camera gear, it's a necessity. Clothes, and clothes, towels. overnight trips. We have everything we need. Mm -hmm. It all fits in here. Next up, towel. A microfiber towel. We have been using this a lot this trip, mm -hmm. especially because trip. in Asia here we're swimming a lot, we're around the water on the beach last trip as well. Mm -hmm. But this is so practical. Like not having a towel, you need a I towel. I don't know. When you I travel. don't know what you do. I mean, sometimes there's Airbnbs that don't give you towels or hand towels or anything or like that. Or hostels, things like that. So, hostels, crucial. yeah, exactly. And going on the bag front, we also have a grocery bag. It's a good size and it's hugely important because we like to buy groceries when we're traveling. And the other thing is, when we're traveling within a country, sometimes we'll Taking have- Taking buses and stuff like that. So we need food and snacks. So we'll like often have this, so it'll go on top of the bus with us, full of food. And if we're wearing our sandals that day because it's really hot and we're like, we're just taking a bus, we can put our shoes in here because our <laughs> shoes don't fit in our backpacks. So we're carrying around snacks and our sneakers. <laughs> exactly, it's great. We have really two, practical. two backpacks and two of those grocery bags, one for each of us. And two towels, obviously. Mm -hmm. Next up, Kindles. We have two Kindles. We have two Kindles and oh my gosh, I didn't realize how much I enjoy reading yeah. now that we're away and you can get any book you want on these things. It's like, for us, it's a relaxation. It's a really thing. good downtime. I mean, we spend so much time online and especially us making videos on our computers. We're planning our next leg of our trip all the time. It's just a nice way to relax, chill Deep out. Rest. And me and you, we read Harry Potter together. Yeah. We read the, we, we're now in the last book of Which Harry Potter. Which is really sad, yeah. We started them last year on our trip. And we're so in. we're getting through it and it's a really good way to hang out together and just have some good, good time. If you like to read, we would totally recommend a Kindle. Next up, AirPods. These were my must haves on the last packing video that we made. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. I mean, we use them for editing, for soundproofing in the airplane, for like everything. Watching movies working on the out. bus. Yeah, working out, listening I love to these. music. The sound quality is awesome too. They're amazing, agreed, mm -hmm. agreed. Speaking of ears and noise. Lastly is earplugs. We use these like a lot. I mean, at least I do. Even last night, it's Ramadan here in Malaysia and it was loud. There's fireworks until 1.30 in the morning. Throw these in, slept like a baby. So those are our must-have items. We hope that maybe you learned something new from them or maybe you'll think of bringing something like that on your trip. And next up, we are going to go to everything we brought on this trip. So let's go and pack our bags. <sighs> now, before we show you what is inside our bag, we wanna show you our actual bag because it's our home. This is an incredibly durable, versatile backpack. It's the Peak Design 45 liter backpack. We both have the same one. But we're using it on the 35 liter version because we downsized. That's right, it can expand to 45 and compress down to 35. It's got tons of features, I won't get so into many. it. Really, really neat and durable backpack. I love how it tucks away, the straps tuck away, there's straps that come with it, all these other things. You can keep your stuff really organized. We could go on for hours, but we 
stop because we have to show you everything inside our bag. If you are interested in a travel backpack and you're interested specifically in this one and you'd like to support us, we do have an affiliate link below. So thank you very much for that. All right, let's get to what's inside our bag. We are going to move on to our clothing we brought, which is all right here, starting with our shoes. If you saw our last packing video, our shoes haven't really changed. We both actually have new pairs of running shoes, but the same kind. Asics running shoes, we wear these all, all the time. All black, practical for everything. Mm -hmm. I have one more pair of shoes than Keith. I have my Birkenstocks. I love them. I have small feet, so I can bring more shoes. I can't bring that much. I can pack these nice sandals. I was never really a sandal guy. I was. I never really like wearing sandals, but I have to say I wear these a lot. They are super great, especially when it's 30 degrees outside, and they pack nicely at the bottom of my bag. Agreed. That's what I do too. We have bags that we put our shoes in when they are in our bag. Next up is our rain jackets. This is something that we don't use that much, but it's a good thing. We definitely want to come prepared and have one of these. Mm -hmm. And they're nice that super they're compact. in like fold, yeah, like can be compact into little bags. So we both have a rain jacket. Next, we're gonna move on to our smallest of packing cubes. We both have the same packing cubes this year. That's changed from last year. And they are my tag alongs packing cubes. I used them all last year and they were amazing. If you recall, mine did not work properly and they're way too big and the zippers broke. And so I'm really happy with the switch because these ones, my tag alongs, have been fantastic. They're very durable. And so we both have a small packing cube and then two medium sized ones. In our small ones, I'll go first. I brought six pairs of socks, all merino wool, one pair of like warm socks. I have 10 pairs of underwear, two sports bras, and I also keep my towel in here. So that's what I have in mind. I have six pairs of ankle socks, one pair of crew socks, mainly polyester or merino wool. And then I have nine pairs of underwear. I know that seems like a lot, but it's 30 degrees here and it's always hot. So, you know, I'd rather have more underwear than not enough and always be washing them in the sink. So quickly, before we move on to our clothing, I will go show you all my clothes and then Keith will do the same. I wanted to point out, I also have another little packing cube inside my packing cube that I store my bathing suits in. We've done a lot more swimming on this trip than we did last year. So I actually have three different bikini bathing suits. And Keith has one bathing suit. So I'm gonna now go through the clothes I brought, starting with my bottoms. I brought four pairs of shorts. I brought my Lulu spandex, a comfy pair of shorts, a pair of workout shorts, and my jean shorts, which I love. I brought two pairs of pants. I brought the same orange pair that are good day-to-day, -day, lightweight travel pants. And I brought a pair of comfy pants, which are great for airplanes and for when you're in air conditioned areas. Next, I brought my same long skirt, super practical, especially in countries where you wanna visit temples, things like that. I brought two dresses, my flowy beach dress and my classic stripes dress, then shirts. I brought my two Lululemon pivot tops, the black one and the blue one. Both are great because they are reversible and I can wear them in more than one way. I brought one black cotton tank top and the colorful lightweight shirt that I also wear all the time. I brought three t-shirts, a pajama shirt, a nice workout or hiking shirt, and a cotton polyester blend Lulu t-shirt that is new to my wardrobe this year that I love, excellent for temples, excellent for wearing around. Love that shirt. I also brought one long sleeve merino wool. I brought my Lulu sweater and probably my favorite clothing item, even though it's not very white anymore, but my white button up shirt. I love it so much and I wear it all the time. Now over to Keith's clothes. Thank you, Devin. I have eight bottoms. I will start off with my comfy baggy shorts that I love and I wear all the time. And then I have two pairs of line athletic shorts, which are really practical for doing hiking, any sort of like physical activity. And then one thin pair of regular sports shorts, a bathing suit, like I mentioned before. And then I have casual shorts that I wear for everything, sort of day to day fancier outings, one pair of athletic joggers, super practical for travel, there's zip-up pockets on the sides, and finally a nice pair of classic pants that are really practical for dressing up or for temples here. Moving on to my tops, I have 10 tops, seems like a lot, but it's actually been perfect. I've worn every single top. Obviously the long sleeves aren't as practical in this weather, but I still very much use them. Starting off with my long sleeve baggy merino shirt that I love wearing all the time. Uh, then I have a thin athletic hoodie, which I use as well for traveling. Moving on to two athletic shirts, really good for hiking, hot days, adventuring through the city. 
really quick drying. Three casual button up shirts just for dressier occasions or being around the city. And then one tank top and then two cotton t-shirts for being casual, being comfortable. And because last year I realized I really missed wearing regular t-shirts. And finally, two hats. My iconic backwards baseball cap that I always wear and my Tilly hat I brought this year. It's been nice. It's been a fun twist to my wardrobe. So that's all of our clothing and we've already been traveling for about a month because we wanted to try out our stuff before we made this video and we can say we have honestly worn all of our clothes multiple times. Yeah. We did downsize our clothes a lot. Not bringing a sweater for me is a huge difference in, in space. Of space in my backpack. Agreed. But I wouldn't have been using it. The no. only time I would have used it would have been in the airport in Vancouver on our way here to yeah, Asia. Yeah, when it was cold. <laughs> but it's true. So that's our clothes and now we'll move on to our toiletries. We did also downsize our toiletries a little bit on this trip, but they're pretty similar to our last video if you watched that one about a year ago. So we're gonna start over here. On the first row we have all of our like shampoos, conditioners, moisturizers, and face cream. And a shampoo bar, which has actually been crazy helpful and really nice, and it lasts a long time. We found that we don't need to bring a ton because often accommodations will have some and we're not super picky when it comes to our shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff. Moving on, we have the same um, little washing thing we had before. This is really great for if we need to do laundry. There's no actual laundry machine. We have some rubbing alcohol. Our toothbrush is toothpaste. Always make sure it's less than 100 milliliters. We have two bug sprays because we were told in this part of the world, bug spray is very important. Polysporin, very important. My eczema cream. Sunscreen, so right here's our sunscreen section and at the moment we have two and that is because this is 120 milliliters and this container is awesome. So it's actually empty, but before our next flight we'll actually be dumping what's left in this into here. So that's why at the moment we have two, but usually we only carry one. Our deodorant, hugely important because they do not have this kind of deodorant here. Deodorant here either doesn't exist or is like spray on stuff. So we're very happy we brought our big deodorants. The lower one, we have our razors, we have some dental floss, a comb, Keats like face trimmer, some pocket shampoo as a backup, nail clippers. I did bring a little bit of makeup, less than last time because obviously I haven't worn it yet at all, so maybe next trip I won't bring any, who knows. We got a little, a little face stone, Maddie Jashima, this one's for you. And then we have a little tweezers, some, what are those called, Q-tips, lip stuff with the whole SBF in it, which is really handy. And then Keith has his like pomade for his hair. And that is our toiletries. Now, our bags. <laughs> these toiletry bags are actually quite crucial. We have these little pouches that are obviously like waterproof, anti-leak, really practical for the airplane. They're side by side as well as this bag. You might recognize it looks like last year's bag that I had. It's the same structure. You have this thing right here and you can hang it and hook it onto anything in the bathroom, super practical. It's the same thing, but this is side by side take and I have to say, this is way more durable. My last toiletry bag just completely died on me. This one on the other hand, has these cool little waterproof pockets. So I've been using this one for toothbrushes and stuff. You can see the toothpaste there, but it won't leak, which is really cool. And it's Velcro. Another big pouch here, which holds pretty much everything. And then all of these fancy zippers over here, which is perfect for storage. And it closes nice and neatly. It ends up being super, super narrow, super flat. So I like this bag a lot. Thank you, side by side. And this is what Devin uses. She has another clear mesh bag. Again, practical for the airplane because they want to see what you have, your liquids. And another bag. This one's from My Tagalongs, actually, which is another uh, brand that we also have a lot of stuff from. And next up, our miscellaneous stuff. Everything here is pretty crucial for us. So we're gonna start over with our water bottles, probably the most crucial feature. They're clean canteen. We actually have a link below if you wanna get one too. We love them, have been using them now for two years. Amazing, water is life. So Except I lost mine, so I had to yes, keep <laughs> get a new one. one. So this is a new one. Something new that we didn't have last year is a speaker. Thank you, Allie B and Max, we got this for Christmas. But it has actually been so nice just to like listen to music while we're packing or unpacking. And it's tiny, it's got a clip, it fits really easily into your bag, perfect. Then over here is kind of like our airplane stuff. We both have airplane headphones because again, you have to pay to buy the headphones and our AirPods don't work on the airplane. We have earbuds, we have two Kindles now. We used to only have one and we shared and it was great but we loved it so much. 
We also got another Kindle for Christmas, so that was very exciting. Then we have this is a blow up pillow for the airplane. We have our first aid kit, which is awesome. Really condensed all the stuff we need in there. We have my wallet with just some like cards and stuff at the moment. My cards are elsewhere. <laughs> We have our COVID-19 proof of vaccinations in here, as well as pictures of our passports, because you never know, you have to have those. A little sewing kit, duct tape, hugely helpful, hugely crucial. Pete's wallet, our handy dandy coffee filter, a really nice clip-on, this is from Side by Side as well, that we clip onto Keith's backpacks. We have hand sanitizer, we need to refill it um, when we're walking around. Our glasses and sunglasses, so Keith has his glasses and sunglasses both fit in the case, which is really awesome. Mine and my broken case. Over here, again, more side-by-side -side pouches, we have these, which are so awesome. Thank you to my mom for showing us and giving us a few of these. They are laundry tabs, so you just like rip them apart. They smell amazing, you stick them in the laundry, and there you go, you have laundry. We also have a bag of masks and some COVID-19 tests because COVID is still out there, so gotta be prepared. My two EpiPens, just in case. We have one anchor battery this year instead of two. We found that was enough. We can also charge stuff with Keith's drone batteries. So one is perfect, but this is amazing and super helpful. We both have a towel for pools or beaches. We both have a buff. Keith has a belt, so his pants don't fall down. <laughs> a nice headband. In here I have a little bit of jewelry and stuff, you know, change it up every once in a while. Not very often, but I do. Some hair stuff. Pens, in case we need them, our workout gear, which we do use a lot, some lar bars. These are from home from Canada and we've been carrying them around for an emergency, so we don't want to eat them yet because they're just so delicious, we can't find them here. And I think that's all of our miscellaneous must have stuff, so hopefully that was helpful and maybe made you think of something you didn't have and you're like, I need that for my next trip. Next up, we have our pharmacy, which everything actually fits in this lovely bag here that I carry around, except for we have something new this year. We both have malaria pills that we'll be taking on part of our trip later on. So we have to carry them around, obviously. Safety first. And then we also have a little Tylenol and Advil container that both of us keep in our like day-to-day -day bags or with us in case we need them. So I'll quickly go through what we have if you're curious about what to bring on a trip. Uh, we brought most of the stuff last year too and honestly everything's been really helpful and we feel very prepared this year so starting with preparation something we didn't have last year but have this year thank you very much julie she's our friend and travel nurse and has been so helpful with us in terms of staying healthy on the road and that is some azithromycin it's called and it is an antibiotic that you can bring with you for food poisoning or things like that, which we just happen to have, mm -hmm. and this saved Keith. So <laughs> that's awesome, we're feeling better now though. Uh, some electrolyte packs, goes along with that, hugely important. And then in here we have a bunch of different things, like for me, Midol, Reactin, Ginger Gravel, for windy roads or boats, things like that. Then we have some water um, tablets to like clean water, we haven't had to use it, but we have those here some gravel if in case we need to sleep on an overnight bus or just aren't feeling well. We have Gas-X, Benadryl for allergies, Reactin for allergies, Claritin for allergies. Again, different kinds because you never know. Benadryl is also really good for allergic reactions, so we always have that just in case. And then another thing that is crucial for us is Tylenol, cold and sinus day and night because you never know when a cold's gonna come and get you. So yeah, that's kind of our pharmacy and everything here has been crucial and important and we're very happy to have it. Moving on to the next section. And electronics and gear. Now you might not have some of this stuff because we film and travel, obviously. So let's start. We do have two computers. Devin edits, I do some research, I do other things and their respective chargers, which take up quite a bit of space because they're so big. And then we have a GoPro, we have the drone and the controller with the batteries, the AirPods. Both have cases because they're so slippery and they always fall. Adapters, now this is a European plug, um, so we don't use it that much here in Malaysia, but it has been really practical in Thailand, we actually did use it. This is the multi-plug. We had this on our previous trip, it is killer. It works so well, we got UK, Malaysia, Australia, all the plugs, Canada, US. It's got four USB outlets, and it's got all the plugs you need. We use that every day. And both of our phones, obviously. And then cables. Cables are something that's kind of difficult. I remember when I was packing for this trip, I was trying to figure out 
what cables do I bring? So I established that we need two micro USB cables, one's a long one, one's a short one, and two USB-C cables. Again, one long, one short. Then we have our phone chargers, which you saw earlier, and also a Kindle charger, which is really important because we have been putting books in our Kindles. This case, by the way, is really slim and really compact. Guess what? It's also side by side. But yeah, it's been very practical and it's been holding all our cables. We have a hard drive and the charger box for our Canon camera that Devin's using. We have two batteries. Speaking of, last time we filmed this, we forgot to say the camera. And this is our camera. It's a simple Canon M150 with a kit lens. We just bought a new mic because our mic broke. And we have a Joby tripod. Another battery in here and SD cards. So we have about three SD cards and like three SD cards for the GoPro as well and the drone. That's everything. Okay, so the rest of our bags. It might look like we have a lot of bags, but all of these are so crucial and important to our trip and the ease of travel. So we're gonna start with our main bags that go with our backpacks. So Keith has a six liter Peak Design camera bag. This is awesome. He's able to fit the camera, the drone, batteries, his random day-to-day -day stuff in there. So it's perfect. So he's always carrying this around when we're moving with all the stuff we own. For me, I downsized this year. I don't know if you remember last year, I had a really cool bag, but it was quite big. This year, I just have my little purse right here. It's pack safe. It's big, got enough space in it for all of my gear that I need with me. We have also a pack safe little case right here and it is for our passports. This is hugely crucial. I carry it around in here. If you've seen our videos, you know this is always on me. Super helpful. I also carry a little money pouch. Hugely important because a lot of countries here are mainly cash. So having a little cash purse is awesome. So they both go in here and then we're good to go. Now bags that we always have packed when we have our big bags with us, but we use literally day to day when we're places. Grocery bags, hugely important. And they pack up just like this. You might also recognize these backpacks. We carry them everywhere. There are day trip things. We carry our water bottles in them. So really awesome bags that we have here. A new thing that we have added to our bag collection is again with side by side. It is a dry sack and a super, super light one. And look at how small they get. They're really awesome. And one thing that we find we use them for is we've done a lot more water activities this year. And so I will always keep one in my bag. So I'll be carrying my backpack, but in here, anything I need to keep dry, I'll have in here inside my bag. The other thing we use it for that's huge is we use it to cover the camera if it starts to rain. So this is really important in protecting our gear. So it's awesome to have a dry bag. And then some other little bags that we have is we have a bag to keep our workout gear in. This is pretty cool. Last year we used, Keith used it with his down jacket. We didn't bring down jackets on this trip because it's like 30 degrees all the time, so we don't need them. But you can stuff clothing or a towel in here. You got a little neck pillow, so that's kind of cool. And then we both have packing cubes, my tag alongs, that we keep our shoes in. So our shoes that are in our bag are not touching yes. any of the other stuff. So yeah, those are kind of our bags. Again, we didn't include this in our last packing video, but we realized how crucial bags are and make things easier with your travels. So we wanted to share that with you. So we'll get back to what's next. So the moment you've all been waiting for, or maybe you haven't, but these are items that maybe we shouldn't have brought on this trip. And my first item I haven't even opened out of the plastic. It is a blow up <laughs> neck pillow. I really thought I would use it on our flight here. I don't know if you saw the video, you know, we had a 38 hour travel day and it was 16 hours on one flight. So I thought mm -hmm. this would be handy, but I didn't even use it. But we were given pillows. Yeah, that's true. We were given pillows. So I thought maybe I'd use it, but I haven't yet. In terms of things that I don't use, I don't think there's an item, except maybe the coffee filter. Yes. That's something that we both haven't used because mm -hmm. it's all instant coffee here. We can't, we can't get find coffee beans. Or filters. Like maybe we're looking in the wrong spots, but we haven't found any yet. But we'd still bring this if we were camping or another trip, if we came back to Asia, Maybe probably. we wouldn't, but we actually <laughs> probably would because probably it's super would. helpful and we did use it a lot in our last trip. We just haven't used it yet on this one. Yeah, so not that many things. Yeah, we did pretty good. All right, so that's everything. All that's left to do is show you how we actually pack our bags. And we actually have a how we pack video. So if you want more detail about how we packed, please watch that video because in this one, we're gonna try and speed pack. That's right, we always roll our clothes. For one, we use packing cues, my tag alongs right now, which are really great. And we also always pack the same way because once we find a way that works, we just stick to it. And that way we can pack fast. So 
let's pack. Also, if you really like this video, if this was helpful at all, please subscribe because we'd love to have you along on all of our adventures. All right, on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. No, that was so tight. I was—you saw me. I was sitting there for a second. I can't believe we tied. Yeah, that she was... actually always beats me. No, you were fast today. Usually, he's super slow. It's because I have to put my clothes away usually, and I'm slow at that. Yeah, you are slow at that. <laughs> but she can never get up when she's on the ground. That's so true. <laughs> you can't get up. Stop it! It's all forward right now. I actually have a hard time doing that too. I have my shoes on and my sling on. Oh, I'm you, way more ready. Oh, you did put your shoes on. I didn't know how to. Well, there you go. That is everything we own on our backs. Da, 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 da. See how compact it is? I put my hip straps on too, did you? No. Oh, okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. See ya. Hey, hey. we're getting the dev. <laughs> hey, hey, we're getting the dev. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting giddy! <laughs>